So I just recently went to do some thrifting and I was looking for different video games and, you know, random vintage electronics because you'd be surprised what's considered vintage these days. And I actually ran across two different iPods, as you'll see right here in this footage, an iPod Nano 8 gig and a 2 gig mini. And I was intrigued and they have a return policy if it doesn't work. So I figured, why not? I went ahead and scooped up the 8 gig pink iPod Nano. And I just wanted to really discuss with you guys, is it still usable in 2021? Let's get into it. So as you can see, it does have signs of use and a little bit of abuse, but nothing too severe where we do have some nice deep scuffs in the glass and the wheels a little bit dirty and there's a few scuffs here and there and then this is still a little bit of adhesive from the stickers that I can't completely get off but it does have its fair share of scratches as well that iconic stainless steel back it is an 8 gig it says smart pants at the top I don't know if that was some custom engraving and then has the 30 pin con the old school 30 pin connector auxiliary jack for headphones and the hold button so when I got it home, I was skeptical that it wouldn't work. And it turns out I've already set it to factory settings. This charge is from last night. I did use it for about an hour and a half last night. So everything works as is. It's the battery life on it is actually quite strong from what I can tell. So I'm actually overall pretty happy with it so what uses can I have for it in an age when our smartphones can do all of these features and then some what use does an iPod Nano have in today's day and age well let's discuss so obviously 8 gigs of capacity is not a lot these days but I did manage to put as you saw quite a bit of albums on here and it's one of those deals where I actually got it with using it for the gym in mind. So why would I want to use this for the gym instead of my Samsung smartphone? Well, reason being this way I can put my phone in my bag, leave it in my locker and not have to worry about being distracted, test, text messages coming through, phone calls, anything like that. I can be 100% focused on the gym. There's no ads or having to skip through songs I don't want to hear by using Pandora or Spotify. This is straight up all songs that I want to hear that get me pumped up for the gym. And the battery life seems to be working just fine on it. So a little bit more information about this one specifically. These didn't make it long. It was actually launched in September. So you can see on the screen here, that is the one flaw in the screen. They do have a dead pixel line, but that's okay. But it was launched in September 5th of 2007 and discontinued almost a year to the day in September 9th of 2008. The resolution on this screen is 320 by 240. It's a two inch LCD and it actually holds up pretty well. I have the backlit set to 10 seconds. That's why it keeps going off. I've always liked about this anyways, how you can go through the cover flow and you could actually if there's album artwork saves there's Limp Biscuit because so I do have the Limp Biscuit discography on there how you can actually cycle through all the albums five finger death punch you know as you can see that's the kind of stuff I like to listen to while I'm at the gym disturbed it's actually quite a cool piece of tech for its age yes it shows its age but it still has uses if you don't like the distractions that a smartphone can provide when doing an activity of sorts like going to the gym like I do so it's advertised as 24 hours of battery life I doubt I'm gonna get 24 hours of battery life on this but it seems like it's still pretty strong overall so for the eleven dollars and eighty three cents I paid for this after tax I feel like this was one of the better finds that I've had as far as usability for me in my personal life from thrifting in a long time and it was looking like it was gonna be a bust so is it usable here in 2021? I say yes, for those reasons specifically. If you don't want the distractions of a smartphone, but still want to run through your playlist for whatever gets you pumped for whatever activity, whether it be going out and jogging, playing any sort of sport, hell, even playing golf outside, or in my case, going hit the weights 
and doing some cardio. The iPod Nano, it's still usable. Well, that's my thoughts on what I find, find to be a lucky discovery at a thrift store in this 8 gig pink aluminum anodized iPod Nano. Pretty excited to have this one. I did almost fill it up. The 8 gigs isn't a ton of storage, but it's still hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs. I think I got over a thousand songs on it already. More than enough for me to cycle through from when I'm working out. So keep your eyes peeled. Thrifting's always a blast and you never know what you'll find between pawn shops, Goodwill, Salvation Army, and thrift stores because I ended up finding this and I'm super happy with it. Until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. Um, how many of you still use older iPods, you know? It's, they have their uses. I definitely have a use for it specifically. Um, for more thrifting videos, let me know down in the comments if y'all like those style videos. More gameplay, uh, arcade mode, all these different formats that I do on this channel will be coming in the near future. I will have more videos coming out. Thank you for stopping by and checking this out. And until next time, have a good one, guys.